This is going to be a demonstration of Lewis acids. In particular, I'm going to do CO2. And I'm going to react CO2 with water, which is a very, very common reaction. Now, if we look at our CO2 molecule, we know that it's very linear because there's no lone pairs of electrons to bend its VSEPR shape downward. So it's linear, which makes it nonpolar. But very interesting enough, if you look very carefully, the oxygen is a much more electronegative than the, than the carbon, so that pair of electrons are drifted or pulled to the oxygen, which leaves this carbon somewhat electron-loving or somewhat positive. And a lone pair from the water can easily be donated into the carbon in creating a bond. And we say that CO2, we know lowers the pH, is acting as an acid because it accepts a pair of electrons. It's an electron pair acceptor, which makes it a Lewis acid, as we've been talking about. Now, the mechanism is that the lone pair of electrons is donated to the carbon, so this is acting as a base, as an electron pair donator, and it bonds, makes this positive. Now, it, when this pushes the bond here, carbon can only have four bonds, so it pushes this double bond to a single. That's why we have a, a single bond over here. We've got this positive structure here. The reason why it's positive, at least its formal charge is positive, is because uh, oxygen had a two lone pairs, and now it's sharing one of that, those electrons with carbon, so it's as if it lost an electron, so it's kind of positive. And this formal charge here is negative because it had, what, two electrons shared with carbon, now it only has one pair. So that's why it's negative. And the last movement here is this positive H probably moves over to this negative, and it creates something called carbonic acid, okay, with this uh, trigonal planar shape and sp2 hybridization. But more importantly, this H2CO3 can donate a proton. You say, well, why can it do that? Well, it can because these three, okay, uh, think about right here, these oxygens that are in this carbonate molecule, all right, these oxygens can all do what? can all pull electrons that are in this pair and drift them closer to the carbon, making this expendable. So the pair of electrons is drifted toward these three oxygens, and these three oxygens collectively with their very electronegative uh, attractions for electrons pull this pair closer, and this H plus can be given off, given this reaction right here. So CO2 in water makes carbonic acid, which dissociates into a proton, which lowers our pH. So rainwater is naturally has a pH lower than 7 because of that. Let's go test it with a very, very famous de uh, demonstration, and I'm going to use blowing some air into a flask with an indicator. I'm going to use bromothermal blue. When its pH is 6 and lower, it's, it's yellow. When the pH is 7.6 or greater, it's blue. In between, we get a green color. So this is what I have here. Okay, so I have my... Um, flask with a tube with basically a straw and I'm gonna blow in it so I got this green color green because guess what I'm in between six and seven I'm using water that is buffered so I'm just gonna blow into it I'm hopefully if I blow into it one of the respiratory gases that I have is CO2 and the CO2 of course okay with water will make the uh, carbonic, carbonic acid which produces the proton and this is how our blood, okay, is regulated in terms of pH in breathing. Our autonomic nervous system will pick up changes of pH due to how much CO2 is in our blood. So let me just blow in here and hopefully have enough CO2 or I would say hot air. And let's do it. So we got the green color and let me just blow into it. Now, of course, I added a buffer to keep it green, but I think I just need another breath here. Let me try. Okay, and we got our yellow color is coming. Let me try one more breath. And I think that'll do it. That gives me my almost yellow color. It's still a bit green. I'm colorblind, as people would say. So one more.
And clearly, we have a color change going toward the uh, yellow wish range, okay? Meaning that my pH is dropping and that the CO2 is acting as a Lewis acid, okay? And it's accepting a pair of electrons from the oxygen. All right, let me just give that one more. I think it's about as yellow as it's going to get. All right. Although it looks still looks a little green to me, but definitely longer, uh, definitely on the yellow side. 